Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Spell Rogue, the dice based strategy roguelike that I'm excited to be back to here today. In we're going to be going. Nope. Let's have it. With Azar once more. That's right. Should we be on Lapis? Technically. However, also technically, I didn't get this, so I want to finish it off. And I feel like yesterday's uh, mutations were so bad, terrible, and uh, frankly, a little unfun that I didn't really get a good example of what this loadout is even like, let alone the self damage build. So here we're going to go to see what we can get up to. Uh, I I mean, yikes, I'm seeing some, some scary things. Scarcity, minus two options in drafts is, that's a, that's a big deal. That's a really big deal. Um, okay. For every boss defeated enemy start with plus two power. That will range from not a problem at all to unbelievably terrible, depending on which fight it is. If an enemy can strike you three times in zone three, of which there are multiple, that is 12 more damage a turn. And I am a czar, so I actually cannot take this. It's basically a no, um, which sucks. Diminishment. Every second turn, remove one charge from all of your spells. That's workable. Uh, Unrelenting Foes is free, in my opinion. Uh, at least this version of it. And by free, I mean, like, it would be nice. There's a couple fights where it might end up being relevant, but I think the fact that this is five and this is six blows my mind, to be honest. Uh, but hey, turn two for Rupture. Can't really take that on self-damage build because I believe the Rupture increases our self-damage. 30% less max HP. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, uh, I have to take scarcity. Oh, boy. And then what, we take the whole bottom row here? That or I take diminishment. Which, I don't, I don't know about that. Alright. Turn two, one less die and less value. We have the reroll thing. Irrecoverable is not going to be good on a self damage build, but you know, tis what t Whoa, you mean all, you do mean all drafts. I gotta tell you, um, 10 points, including the relics, is absurd. I don't know about that one. Uh, but hey, we'll see, we'll see. We do have a double elite into a final node shop, which I actually really really like that loadout and i actually kind of like an uh early event too i feel like an early event can lead to a couple good things there's that one that gives you um there's one that gives you a relic that makes you get money every time you move so it could be great all right so we do want to i gotta say we got really lucky with the <laughs> the relic that we got too that could have been bad all right, let's start ramping that bad boy up. But I I wish I felt like I could uh, take something that was a little bit better for trying out a self-damage build. But hey. All right, early parts were just ramping up. Uh, if you didn't see yesterday's, re-roll die, enchanted with wound. Wound is self-damage. Roll, it's the number rolled up, so we will take uh, two damage. If it was a five, we would take three. A five or six, we'd take three. But thankfully, yeah, we have the Phoenix Pendant, so we heal five after each fight, which is honestly a godsend. I'm like, I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, gain nine block and reduce the countdown by blank this combat. I'm not going to re-roll that, quite frankly. I think it's I think it's good good enough. I think it it could be end game material even. Cuz we do need to survive, you know? That one's a good one to to keep on cooking. I don't want to take the 3 there. We'll just be able to kill you in one shot, so it's a waste to even use the leech on him. We take one more damage. Uh, guy's dead in one. All right. Yeah, I'm not that bothered by that one. 
All right. Killing you here seems a little less likely, but hey. We could luck out. And just get enough to do two leeches, is what I was going to say. And I did, so I will. Gain a critical. Uh, it is good. Holy crap. So here's the thing. Scarcity is bad. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, we're kind of working with it. 125. I mean, I'm going to take the Fairy's Curse. Basically, you want to look at it like, um, receive three weak on turn one, which when all enemies have on dying on turn one, I don't care that much. Oh, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But the fact that those aren't connected is really weird. So I guess, do we go for the extra charge and we get the minus four or do we do five extra damage? We probably go for the minus four cooldown. Do 12 damage to the front enemy, minus four cooldown whenever you, it, it's just a yes. Just a yes from me. Uh, All right, let's start going for it. We, we do want to keep on going for the blood wards. It's just the thing to do early. Yeah, that's going to be good. That's going to be so good. All right, Vindictive Strike kills these front lines for me. Uh, thank you. Nice. We are taking damage still. I was just... I'm thinking about the next turn. Okay, good. We actually... We have like a lot of... We have a little bit of a, a free turn here. To kind of do what we want a little bit more. So that's a net neutral on this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can we can get moving. We just need to find uh, a little bit more healing potential. Should have gone for leech. I mean, if he's only doing the eight to me, it doesn't actually matter. We do have to kill with leech, but getting seven out of this many out of three dice should be very workable. Oh, man. Only getting one pick from the boss relics. Um, if four or more dice spent, gain extra power. It's not bad. Turn three, gain four power. I kind of ramp up pretty well anyways. All right, I'm still fishing for that. Like, there's like a really good event. Choosing gain a void spell, though. I think we take that. Dupa die. Could dupa a bloody three. And do some some good stuff with that. I mean, I basically I don't think we re-roll it. Bare minimum, I don't think we re-roll it. All right, I'm, I'm liking this start. I'm liking this start, especially compared to yesterday. I'm liking this start. I do not like this. But it is kind of like, well, what are you going to do? You got to deal with it a little bit. Okay. Let's get working on Ashen Plating for when he gets to the next phase. Because Vindictive Strike, it's going to do more damage this turn anyways. 
That's right. Um. Oh, that the vindictive strike spread it back. Oh, you jerk. Oh well. At least we uh we gain damage ramping here, but he might actually spread it back for me. Okay. Uh hmm. Hmm. How much does this have normally? Ten. Mm. Uh, we can't kill, can we? Surely not. Correct, surely not. A little bit of a side grade there. I mean, we could have um, popped the blast pot, but getting out of this fight with roughly this situation, I feel like is fine. Like, we, we got the kill here, and this fight is na nasty. We got the kill right there. With no no flubs at all. I I already said no to you. I will say eight block for six pips is kind of gross. Like, if you just ignore the bottom part, this is just a six power or six pip eight block spell, which is really good. Which is like. It's that that's like um hazel level of base value. We need to really get working on ashen plating to have it work, right? Hmm. How many times do we need to cast it? Well, but then it's like when we Shoot. I should have taken it. On potion used, gain a concoction. I think it is a fun one. It's a good one, but we got stuff we do want to do. And right now that stuff is mana symmetry. We have so much money here. Extract. Wait. Uh. Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh, baby. I don't think we need it for right now, though. The bummer is that we don't disenchant here. Unless I disenchant Ashen Plating like a Giga Chad. To get the, the gem back. That's my defensive spell. <laughs> That's my defensive spell. Killing the guy. Because here's the thing. Life Skeen, Staff of Protection, that is that is almost a, a spell as well. If we could get the uh, your sixes turn into fives, then we are on an absolute uh, bender. Guys, we're in there. We're in there. Uh, we can't heal off of you. Why even go for extract? So we need to do 20 damage to you, which is gonna be tough. 
Okay, good. Or not. Wait, hold on. Shoot. Well, we'll at least be uh, in a pretty good spot to... I mean, okay, now, because now we can at least hit you. We'll take it. We'll hit you with a little one of those. I mean, that's a lot. We're taking quite a bit of hits, though. I'd like to get you with the extract, which is easier said than done here. Okay. Ugh. Is it even worth it at this point to go for the extract? So we have... Oh god, Vindictive Strike goes! <laughs> you jerk! Okay, so hold on. Two. Five, two. It's ever so slightly uh, a good value. And we get the five, and then we get the heal after the boss. We're probably back up to full, aren't we? Oh, man. It's good. Oh, man. Yesterday was how can we screw old Rito over, and today is here's a big old buffet. Jesus. Let's go for the dupe twice. I, I don't feel like I'd do that one, even though we should. Um. Hmm. There's no path right here. It looks like there is, but there's not. Well, the choice, the first choice doesn't matter. But yeah, uh, Staff of Protection, Crooked Die, one of my favorites. Like really, really nice. All of your sixes turn into fives, which gives you, it's, it's just gross. And then we can get that going for us. The mana symmetry. What do we do with all these freaking twos? I guess I don't know. Do you? Keep working on extract, I suppose. Oh, that's right. This is 12. Okay, this turn is still going to be bad. Like, it's kind of gonna be the th the thing cool freebie let's just dupe a regular old three we are absolutely cooking with gas. Just to assert dominance there. I don't think that's going to be usable for us. Chant die with energy. Oh, barf. 
plus three value to all dice is at least usable. I don't know if I think that that other one's even usable. The only place where I think you can, like, actually get value out of it is, uh, is there, like, a way to... Is, like, uh, get this much block and then return the die with minus value. Like, that... It's, it's super niche. I think we go for the elites, but I'm not gonna... Lose six max health, gain dark start. You know, that might be the that might be the build. Like that just might be the the end of the build. I feel like we should get some kind of survivability though. But there that could be my final uh end game build. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised is is what I'll say. If that's where we take it at the end. Okay, good. You love it. Boop. Should probably put the three in there. It's like a weird mismatch in value. That's the one spot where it's a little bit rough. All right, but we're doing all that so that we can hit with the uh, the extract. Hopefully, like maybe even next turn. Oh, now we really hope it's next turn. That guy being buffed is. Uh, not, not a good thing. Uh, not a good thing. Uh, this is the exact bad scenario that we didn't really want to have happen. Um... What if? Okay. Um. Yeah. That's all okay. Definitely not what I was hoping for. Because now I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to work a lot harder to get that extract, but... I don't know, it's just like, it was a lot of damage coming in. It is tough to need exactly a bloody three. Oh god, this is oh wait, wow. Okay, the damage ramp on that got out of hands. Uh how many vindictive strikes would I need to do? Okay. We'll go for that. We can almost pop you with leech. It's just the support guy left. Okay. Um thirty-eight. Just get value. Good, good. We're living. We're L I V I N Living. Gain a critical? At this point, it's a little bit more appealing. 15 max health. On this build? I'm, I'm really close to like an end game build, so I'm just going to say... It should die! It should update! It should update! Tell me that it does Tell me that it's only 10. I assumed that the calculation was already done. Jerk. 
All right. Whatever. Uh, this is a tough one. This guy is exceptionally spooky. Oh, baby. Six free block. I'm looking for the three. Just such a good way to ramp. I think we take this. Do, 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 do. Okay. We got him kilt. Kilt this turn if we want. A little bit scary with extract because we don't know where this three is going. Eh. Oh, love you. Oh, wait, shoot. Oh, man. That didn't go well. <laughs> that did not go well. All right. Um... Not enough either. God, that sucks. It's close. Very, very close. That's the downside of Vindictive Strike uh, going not on your turn. <laughs> sometimes uh, sometimes it causes a little bit of whoopses. I just want to keep my low value die. Why? I don't know. We don't really have value. It's weird to be on Azar and not have value for low value dice. I was in my head, I was like, yeah, of course we do. We're Azar. But in actuality, we kinda we kinda don't. Alright, back up the fault. We're doing it. Gain three block on a three, roll a one through two. I mean I have I already have two things that I really like to put threes into, so it's like bonus countdown to target spell, and then roll two one slash twos. Um, we don't have anything that likes that right now. I'm actually least likely to use Zeal of the Sun, though. All right, Vengeance? No. I kind of wanted to get Vengeance, I'm not going to lie. We just pop our threes in there. Yeah, we just got to stop hoping for, like, the dreamy value. Like, the, the kind of value you can only, you know. Let's do this. Wait, you, you technically attack twice, too, right? Yes, technically, indeed. Okay, keep the three, just in case. Okay, but this is the ideal. If we could have another charge in that. Ooh, baby. I can't get more block than that. Which is definitely, like, the wake-up call. That our final slot probably needs to be... It probably needs to be a heal. Or probably needs to be defense, rather. No me. Perfect. Well, do we care? Yes. Yes, we still do. Three. Three. You love that. I don't want a low value one, two. That works out well. Uh, we're close to kill. Um, 28. You jerk. We're so close. I 
hate you. I'll I'll leave it. No, here I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna have you proc it. I'm gonna oh it procs it for next turn. Yeah, that it would have been really nice if we could just squeak out that three extra damage that turn, so we would have been at full health after this fight. But what can you do? Magma skin is a lot of block for an Azar spell. Reduce health loss by one. Is that incredible? It it it's that that's uh that's wait that's incredible. It's good bad. It's good bad. We can't like take the one boop, but our three we gain health out of blood ward. Blood ward is now a, a health gain on a three, and our fives and sixes are neutrals. Watch, 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 watch. Unless this doesn't work. We're cooking. Game felt bad. Game felt bad. As it should, to be honest. Okay. Uh, we set up the really nice extract. The freebie. Oh, God. This could be rough. Okay, I thought he was going to go for the multi-strike. Step one, get back up to full. Step two, uh, we don't, okay, good. So that does nothing, and then we end up, we do still take the damage, but we are also healing. It's just unbelievably good. And I don't really care about taking a, a schmack in here, because again, Blood Ward, if we roll right, we could just get where we need to go. Two. And that's healing as well. And these are free still. Yeah, they're free. 24. Um... Boop. Slurp next. Whoop, slurp next. Heal four health, unrestorable. It could be my final slot. It's obviously like a pretty logical thing. I don't think I'm taking inner rage at this point. I don't know how big of a deal Dark Star actually is without any strength up. So, yeah, we'll probably end up rocking magma skin for, like, the uh-oh moments, is my guess. Is there, like, a wound uh-oh spell? Like, for, for defense? I mean, we just do this for value at this point. Okay, good. Target spell gains some charges. I mean, Blood Ward. If we get the threes, if we get the blood threes. It gives us a lot of ramp. Well, while also being safe. Like, look at that. It just... It's free. Leech is now better. Than Vindictive. So Vindictive is just going to be a nice thing to... To be able to cast without having to try. That's going to be the main purpose. A little meh. Yep. 
I'm ramping. I'm ramping. I prefer that. We can't heal off of these guys. So, like, extract is more or less useless in this fight. But yeah, we've entered the realm of uh, Killer Bust. Okay. We're getting the getting pox there, which is not good. But it's fine. You're just ramping me a little bit more here. This is scary. This is not this is not a good thing. Maybe we'll get a good roll though. Give me a three. Oh, thank you. That's what you love to see. Let's let's me just heal up there. Okay. Yeah, it's... It's a wee bit of a mess. The good news is we don't take the pox now. At least not on this turn. Probably will this following turn, but uh, Leech is really up there now. Okay. Just a giga turn. Okay. Um, should have done the ones first. Should I have? Yeah. Yeah, I should have. Like, we can get the frontline kill, which helps because that's a lot of pox. So you're going to get the pox proc. Yeah, there's not much I can do. But yeah, if we would have done the ones first, we could have had... Those could have all been fours, which would have been nice. We've got the kill now. Uh, there's no, like, lifesteal situation that we need to really be looking for either. We just need to get the, uh, the leech... And we're good. Because we're going to heal up after. Now, if the universe truly is smiling down on me, it's going to throw the um, roll an extra die on enemy kill. <laughs> Lose a health. All right. Great. Great. All right. There we go. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Uh, Convalesce upgraded is definitely appealing, but I think Magma Skin for uh-ohs. I think Dark Star... I just... On defense spell cast, do six. Yeah, I, I guess I thought in my head it did more damage than two. You really need power. You need power up for that to be something. I gotta tell you, there's not much of a reason to fight more than one elite here. So I probably won't. We we have the slot. We only need one gem to upgrade whatever the uh, the thing that we decide we want to keep is. Three, three, nice. And now we magma skin. Which, it's worth noting, the thing we decide to keep could even just be that. It might be magma skin. Mm. Oh, what? Why is that so the way that it is? And can it be different?
man, it's really nice to just have a lot of damage or have a lot of uh, block on a spell as is are. It's just, it's kind of unheard of. Okay. Lol. That was that was really strange. Okay, uh what am I doing? Take the freebie first. Um you don't... Yeah, you, I was going to say, you shouldn't count. And you did not. You guys technically aren't summons either, huh? I don't know if I agree, but sure. We also don't even have our other thing. We could get, like, the lifesteal or something. This combo right here is just... Just getting the, the bloody three. Okay, yeah, we would lifesteal off that. I'll just do it. Gotta be a little careful. Leech kill, so we want to, like, vindictive strike extract, I suppose. Eh. Unnecessary. Ooh, wait, we've been weakened. Never mind, we've been weakened. Alert, alert, alert. Okay. Oh, come on! We're one off still? Then perish. Whatever. Whatever. We get the we get the uh, Phoenix pendant. I feel like I don't even want to be like I shouldn't even be re-rolling for those. These both go to only one spot. Um You know, it's good for Vindictive Strike, but it's it's just such a slow thing. Add a charge and apply ignite to target spell. Receive two damage, aka one damage whenever the spell is cast. On health loss, gain delayed block. Wait. Hello? Uh, I think I'm not doing that. When a spell applies weak, deal four damage as well. Like, that's just another way to take damage, which is nice in a way. Could put it in Blood Ward. But also, okay, Skjoldur we take. I think I'll grab it. Sure. Dodge is busted. Energizing Potion is busted. I don't know. Like, it could be good. I'm not sure. So the other shop, I'd have to... Oh, it's... it's um, If I wanted to hit this shop, it's, it's basically... Since these never... This path is... And it never reconvenes. So it is... I mean, I guess it's up here. Yeah. Hey. Bop, 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 bop. Early on, I do think Magma Skin is just worth it. Uh, 
But yeah, getting uh, Vindictive to have the extra plus five is nice. It's like the other the other upgrade path, except we also get the minus four on health loss instead. But I gotta say, these... Uh, if we... If there was a spot we got unlucky today, it's up here. I would not say that that was a, uh, a luck out moment. Oh no. Hmm. See, we even have, like, yeah, we have quite a bit of block potential now, which is nice. We have eight, uh, we have, yeah. Yeah, good amount. 20, 22, something like that. Whoa! Blech. So we need to do 15 to stop you, right? To stop you from transforming? Okay, we gotcha. You know what? I'm gonna just take that, uh... It's fine. Take that schmack. Uh You jerk. I mean, we could put we could put this on extract, I guess. Give me like a, give me a three. Rip. It's okay. It's it's still value is the thing. All right. We go for the Vindictive, and then we could get an Extract. Works for me. And what do we do with this Garbons? I guess we just work on getting the Vindictive down a little bit. Because I can't do a- I can't do much targeting here. Alright. Me three. We really do have a very specific thing we want. So I can't I can't be that upset, right? Can I? Could maybe I could. What if I What if I did leech? No, there's no point. There's no point because we take the one or the two and then we heal it back up to five. Um, I can't go to the shop unless I want to fight both. But the thing is, I can do that, and I'll just take the... I'll just fight both. Screw it. I think we can handle it. Which means... Skip? You really wanted me to have Convalesce, didn't you? I do think it's a valid... Like, an uh, obviously valid choice. Um, that plus block or whatever. I'm barely using extract. This is a magma skin moment for sure. Yeah, three. Not gotten a bloody three in a while. Okay. It's kind of nice. Ooh. We just summon. There's the bloody three. I think we just summon. We say screw it. Not that much. So I don't need to be that worried. Three. 
Five, six, seven. We uh, could also go for a magma skin. Do 10 damage back. So we get the Vindictive Strike at the same time anyways. All right. But yeah, I think this makes sense in Vindictive just since it's basically a freebie. Leave the three. Eh, okay. So that's the dream. At this point, do we just... Um, pop a couple Vindictives there? The, the leech is now better. We should do the plus one value at all dice. It's just kind of like... I'm fine without it. And I might not be next turn. No! I've been had! <laughs> oh no. I mean, I'm not rolling any fives by doing that. That's the funny thing. It just seems like I am. I can't do just enough. With extract. I don't know. Buffing uh, extract with that is... It's two fights now where it's maybe been a possibility. Every 10th spell attack also applies dazed is... I think that I'm, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that's going to be the, the better of the two. But there's a chance that I don't even take the other upgrade anyways. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. Wow. I mean, you just do this. I mean, he ramps up. These guys are summons, though, so we won't be able to heal off of them. Leech is already at 12. It's a nice thing. I would like to focus you down if I can. Wow, wow. Love it. Are we good enough? I am good enough. It's, it's fine. It's, only, it's tricky because Vindictive Strike it is going to mostly hit the front. So... Yeah, whatever. It's a lot of dice. It's a lot of dice. Should be doing this, though. And also pop a couple magma skins. I don't care that much uh, about the Vindictives. But we shall do them if we need to do them. And we do not need to do them. But I will do them. Goodbye. 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 Your value alone. Thank you. Good leech. Okay, so... Um... Applying enrage to another enemy. I could just go for the kill. 
And we do that since we uh, are going to be healing oh, mostly to full. Wait, no, we are healing to full. Does this not mean... Uh, does it not happen on summons, I guess? Do it. Do it. Every turn, minus countdown to spell. Every tenth, six. Enemy death roll will die. This has just been... Magma Skin has been really good. There's no reason why every turn minus countdown is going to be anything but great. Tax get lifesteal could save me the the urn. All right. Is it the guy? It is the guy. The final challenge. He's not as bad without that one modifier, though. You know? The one that ruins everything. Oh, thank you very much. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are already good, but... We only get one charge back a turn, so I, I think we go with Leech. Sort of want to spread it out a little bit. It's going to be a little bit rough for uh, Blood Ward. We do get this turn to chill a little, though. Oh, that's right. Should have remembered. Mm. Mm, I would absolutely love this, this turn. Oh, well... Uh Everything goes down by one. Kind of prefer on evens. Magma skin, good. Alright. Very workable. Leech is still not better than uh, Vindictive in this, but it is also cheaper. So I will do it, because I like cheap. Yeah, no, he's a he's still a he's still a rough guy. He still is very much a rough guy. No. Nope. Okay. We could go in, but we're just trying to scale a little. I want to be able to use two Vindictives next turn. If I want to. Okay. Um, uh, 29. No. I don't know if it's worth it to like. Okay. Here's an option. Here's a weird, weird option. Do we have enough to just... We do. We literally we have enough to cast two extracts. There we go. Three foresight. Double the weak on the target. I mean... If I'm not using it, every turn gain a power and receive a sap. Alternatively, we upgrade this to give us 10 block and possibly save our bacon. I do think that that's... That's the smart call. 
All right, what do we have here? We got the dodge. We have the double charges. So we kind of want to use the double charges on the turn where we have a bloody three and we aren't blocking quite enough, right? Is that sort of the... I mean, I could just preemptively assume I'm not blocking enough. But I think that... I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be true. It does also start to ramp. It's like... It's a very gentle ramp. Like, you're going to think I'm out of my dang mind when I say this. After, see, like, seeing what's in front of you here. I don't think the self damage build is that good. <laughs> Still. I think that the stars aligned perfectly today. And the build is just pretty good. And the stars aligned. This stars perfectly aligned everywhere except for our, uh, our artif not artifacts, our rituals. It's the only place they didn't like perfectly align. So, I don't know. I don't know if it is even going to be that good. On average. Oh god, I should have hit the Vindictive. because Ah, that doesn't go! That makes sense. It doesn't go while it's broken. So the break is actually going to mess me up pretty bad. Okay. We do buff up uh, Vindictive because it's just going to be happening the most like on accident. We save the three just in case we don't get a better uh, bloody thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I'm I'm trying so hard. Like I just I'm I'm going for so many things here. And I just don't feel that strong. I really, really don't. It's it feels a little criminal. Three then. We just need to take those freebies where we can because the boss isn't going to give them to us. We do have our dodge. Leech is now indeed better. Taking two damage from the boss, kind of nice. 14 times two, not that nice. Okay, bloody three. Love to see. Okay. Cool. We're almost through this first part here. Okay. I'm taking this. I'm taking this hit here. Because I need to get through this phase so bad. It's not good. Okay, vindictive scaling there. Okay. We pop the three. We applied the days. Dude, that's so good. Um, do I care? Not really. We're finally starting to do damage. Like, the thing is, if I, I press that, I could cast Vindictive Strike there instead. Oh, and Ignite! Thank you! Thank you! 
Oh man, I have shield. Okay, well, if I keep on finding this right there, then I guess I'll just keep on doing it. Alright. Uh, one more of these and you're done this phase. I guess we don't do anything else there? I don't really... I don't really know. Oh, that actually, even that could be bad. Pop the lifesteal on. Because we could get... Um, we're getting random charge. No, we're not getting random charge. We're getting the one charge. Alright. Uh, we're going for the lifesteal on this turn. Okay. Thank you. Dun, dun. Do, do, do. Take the wounds first. Okay. Cool. I mean, I made it back up to full. Could have done an extract to do the 12 damage there, I suppose. All right. We did it. It was about to get, uh, it was about to get kind of bad. Yeah. All right. What is my review of this build now that I've done it? It is quite good. It has a glaring problem to me, aside from the aside from the fact that I need to get really lucky. It has a really weird glaring problem. The starting spells are too good for starting spells, and not good enough for like a rare spell. Leech is an end is your end game card. Blood Ward is one of the only cards in the game that I, at least that I've seen so far that facili can facilitate taking damage and then healing it back up at neutral. Like, you could technically... there. I think there's another... There's another card that does it with, like, a 2 or something, I think. Uh, but... It's... you. Your three starting cards are essential components. And that... isn't great. Leech is... I wish that I could just find Leech and that I could then upgrade it, right? Uh, if if Leech was out in the open and you could upgrade it so that on health loss, increase the damage by three, or even like um, just, you know, reduce the cooldown to four, uh, you know, fill in the blank. It I would prefer that to this situation where I ha I feel like I have to keep Leech, I feel like I have to keep Blood Ward, but I also can't upgrade them. That's the problem. Vigor of Blood, I think, is cool. Uh, like, it's the weight so, th so that you can take self-damage, and it's fine. Like, I think that this starting build should have, like, a different thing. Like, I release Leech into the wild, make it an upgradable card that you can find, and make Azar D's starting attack simply uh, like a if blank do blank and like and like an X damage card, but if you put in a wounded die, you don't take that damage or something, right? Like I think that that'd be more interesting, right? Because that falls off eventually. You will want to pivot out of that. And it also solves the early game problem of like, okay, well, what do I do with this self damage? How do I heal? It, it you need to you need to find too many things. And today, I found all of the things. <laughs> I found all of the things aside from the rituals, and I felt like it was probably one of my weakest successful runs that I've had in this series. Like. Obviously, the final turn looked good, but it, it just takes a long time to get there. Other builds just scale better. And 
You don't have to hurt yourself to make them get there. And you don't need to get absurdly lucky with finding every single component piece that we happened to, that we did happen to find today. Life skein, staff of protection, uh, like crooked die staff of protection, silver hauberk. Not doing doing it without that seems like a nightmare. Dreadstone is a freebie. Um, even the bowl of holy water to an extent, like skulldeer. Uh, everything everything we got was absurd for this build, and I felt pretty good. I felt pretty strong. So that's kind of, that's my take right now. Uh, my hope is that there's, I like someone told me there's a, a card that makes the damage builds better, self damage builds better. But the issue is if you have this uh, whole build type, like archetype and an essential component is locked deep within like past four unlocks or something, that's not good. That's not good. I think this whole archetype needs a, a big, a big boost. It's too risky, and I think, like, it needs a, a little bit more safety to it, and I think even releasing Wound into the wild, if that's what, well, not Wound, uh, whatever it was, uh, Leech, into the wild would help this whole archetype a lot. Like, make it a, make it a, a an uncommon and give it an upgrade. And, and I think that this archetype would be made better for it. There's there's not enough payoff, and the payoff that's in it isn't that good. Uh, the payoff exists. It's in the starting build of his RB. D. <laughs> there. <laughs> it's weird. It's it's weird. And I think, it'll, I think it will be changed, and I hope it does get changed. But hey, I'm glad we got a, a successful run done there. Uh, thanks to the stars aligning for us. Yesterday, stars reverse aligned. They, they, the stars aligned yesterday, and they aligned into the shape of a middle finger. And today, they they aligned in the shape of a thumbs up. Uh, but last, last, that's that. It's gonna do it here for today for Spell Rogue. If you'd be sad to see the series go, gotta let me know in the form of comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye, bye.